Have you ever heard the term, survival of the fittest? In the animal and plant world, this means that only the strongest organisms will be able to live on. Most animals and plants, in addition to seeking food, water, and other resources needed for survival, also are looking to reproduce. Reproduction is the process of creating offspring, and it is the main goal of animals and plants. Let's explore how characteristic animal behaviors and specialized plant structures play a big role in the probability of successful reproduction. We will begin by examining different animal characteristics. These characteristics can be separated into two categories, producing offspring and survival of offspring. To produce offspring, animals need to find a mate. Behaviors can signal that an animal is a desirable mate to the opposite sex. For example, peacocks, which are known for their beautifully colored feathers, perform little dances to attract potential mates, in which they fan out and shake their feathers. To protect offspring, animals might engage in behaviors like building nests or dens to protect from the cold. Living in groups is another behavior common for protection. For example, elephants, when traveling, keep their offspring in the center or middle part of the herd. Animals go to great lengths for successful procreation. From building nests, creating mating dances and forming intricate social bonds, to looking their best. They've got it all figured out. It's like they have a sixth sense when it comes to giving their species a fighting chance of survival. Plants have also adapted in ways that increase the probability of reproduction. Many plants evolved specialized structures that help them reproduce successfully. For example, some plants have flowers that attract pollinators like bees and butterflies to help spread their pollen, which contains the genetic material needed for reproduction. Plants with brightly colored flowers are more likely to be successfully pollinated than those with duller flowers. There is also a unique relationship between many plants and animals. Some plants require seeds to be dispersed. Some animals are able to disperse seeds far away from their parent plants, like squirrels burying nuts, or birds eating fruit and passing the seeds elsewhere. As you can see, certain behavioral characteristics in animals, and specialized structures in plants, can help increase the probability of successful reproduction and survival of offspring.